members of the board, Pierre Velasquez um, had a conflict that came up at the last minute, so he's not able to make it, but he's given me permission to read his testimony, which it's my understanding um, we're allowed to do. Uh, it's being passed out. Senor, and then um, he'll follow. Uh, Pierre G. Velasquez, Bachelor's Zoology, Texas A&M University, Master's Environmental Management, UTSA, 32 years of teaching experience in Texas public school systems, uh, including science, Texas State Board of Education, and all present at the hearing. On behalf of science educators like myself, who have taught in the Texas public school system for over 32 years, I'm greatly concerned that the author of Prentice Hall's proposed biology text as well as others are choosing to ignore what the most recent research has now presented. The list includes the rapid appearance of highly developed invertebrates during the Cambrian explosion with no reasonable explanation. The misleading pictures of embryos from different species that are now known to have been modified to fit the argument of common analogous structures between species, assumptions of cellular evolution that contradict the obvious evidence for a cell model that could not even in 4.5 billion years have randomly evolved into the highly organized and specialized structure that scientists have documented today. Darwin's finches presented it as different species rather than a species which have physical changes in morphology triggered by environmental and biochemical factors and no mention of the most recent ideas of genetic switches and transcription factors and their roles in turning on and off genes in different organs and not only individual species but all species. Once again, it seems that the authors of textbooks are presenting a single dogmatic viewpoint of evolution laden with errors and not allowing our students to critically analyze or question the arguments presented for evolution. Texas educators need to have the most accurate textbooks that reflect what hundreds of scientists know today, not biased opinions of scientists still clinging to biology they learned as truths in textbooks that today fall short of the most accurate research, knowledge, and good science. Respectfully submitted, Pierre G. Velasquez. Thank you, Jonathan. 